Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to add links to your web page. Now these links could link to different pages of your website or even to your various social media pages such as your Facebook or your Twitter accounts. So without further ado, we'll jump right in. The first thing I'm going to show you how to link is a button. So I'll just quickly add a button to my home page here. And to do that, we'll head over to the sidebar and click on add. And here we have buttons and menus section. And I'm going to go ahead and click on button. And I'll just drag this over here. So before I get to linking, I want to change the text of the button. So I'll go ahead and click on the button, and then I can double click it and highlight my text. And I'll just stick something on there like, contact us. Now, to link this, we simply have to click on the button, and in the panel box where the section says link, we can use the drop down and select page. From there, we can select the page of our web page that we would like the button to link to. So I'll go ahead and click on our contact page and our button's now linked. A quick note, you can also check the checkbox that says open link in a new window. If you wish for a new window to be open when that button is clicked, this will do that. But for the sake of the video, I won't use that right now. Just a general guideline on the open link in a new window. You generally won't want to have links within your own page. These are called internal links. You won't want to have those open in a new window. For external links, like say, opening to a Facebook page or opening to like say a Google link, those would be much more likely to be in a new window and are much more expected that way. The next thing I want to show you are the various social features we have. So as an example, I'll use the Facebook button down here. I'll go ahead and click on that. So all I have to do is in the panel box, under link to, I can go to web address. So I'll go ahead and link this to our Facebook page, www.facebook com slash website dot com and since this is an external link I'll click on open link in new window and I'll click out of it and voila our Facebook button is now linked to our company's Facebook page now as you can see we also have a beautiful slideshow right here so we can use these images to link to pages as well so what I can do is I can go ahead and click on that and over here in the panel box make sure you have settings selected and click on edit slideshow now, for whichever image you would like to link, you can go down here to where it says link and select where you would like it to link. So, for our purpose, um, I'll just choose it to link to another page of our website. And this time, how about we have it linked to our menu page? That seems right, so go ahead and click done. So finally, we can actually link text as well. So I'll link a little bit at this paragraph right here. So I can go ahead and click on that, click on edit text, and highlight the bit that I would like to link. So I can do that. This is highlighted now. And I can link it by going to this button right here that looks like a little chain. So you can go ahead and click on that and choose where you would like it to link to. So I'll link this bit to a document. So I can choose a document. And from here I can just click and it will open a menu where I can upload files to link it to. So I'll go ahead and click on upload. And I'll click on sample resume. And I'll go ahead and click on that. Press open, it's now uploaded, select it and press done. Now this text will link to our sample resume PDF. So go ahead and click on OK and the bluish color shows you that it did indeed work. Alright so that was just a quick tutorial on adding links to your web page, both external and internal. I hope this video was a big help to you guys. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube, follow us on Twitter and follow our Facebook page. Thanks for watching.